time. Now is the time. If not now, when? If not All right. when? Sometime. Alistair Why? says he's recording. I'm sure he can't say so, but he. I'm going to check and make sure he's in. He now is recording. in. So we're recording. Now recording. Okay. Are we sure? All right. Oh, wait. This is going to be recorded. I'm bringing us in. I'm bringing us in. It's three, two, shut the fuck up. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Will Homer and Zinzinix and Voices by Corey and Psycho Goldfish and Goodell and... <laughs> <laughs> and who else? And it's a run on sentence. That's what it is. Hey, everybody. Everybody. And welcome Woo. and to and the and Newgrounds and, and podcast. And <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is Good this stuff. episode about? What are we doing? 50. It's above 50, guys. Woo! Oh, it's old. It's so old 50. now. It's a goddamn old episode. That's what I'll tell you what. That's right. <laughs> the future and, and is this bright. this episode, on a quick note, we do have a sponsor for this episode. It is beer. The beverage. Beer! <laughs> beer. I hate to be the one to bring this up now, but I am actually drinking wine. I'm sorry I didn't discuss this Oh, let me just Jesus get my whiskey Christ. out. Look wine at this wino you. over here. Huh. Does anybody want a cosmopolitan while we're at it? <laughs> For the record, we should say that who is actually here is uh, Goodell, Psycho Goldfish. Spadezer is also here right now. Hello. Voiced by Corey, me, Zinzinix, and uh, Ninja Muffin is going to join us in a bit. He's going to join us maybe in 30 or so. And please believe us because we've done this literally the last episode. <laughs> we tried to say so. Not the last. Before last. Somebody was coming in at the end and... It was all a big old goof, but this time it's real. We promise. Is I mean, it Ninja Muffin 99 yeah. or Ninja Muffin oh, 69? We promise. Wink. Yeah. Cam was in We're the nothing first episode without of the show. I feel like there's a, there's a precedent. There's Does a precedent? It? No, he has no back. seniority. He left, okay? So, so That's right. No. Didn't it's we all? Fine. Can we just oh, move on, please? On. Don't we have it's hard to move to on from about? the ones you love. Let's make it more awkward for Zen. I'm not awkward. I'm a normal person. You see me in the streets? Oh, trust me. I, I'm, I'm not awkward. awkward. You're the one that's awkward. <laughs> trust me. I'm awkward. Trust me. I'm awkward. Wonderful. Well, it's very special. Engineer. All right. Episode 50. Together. It is a 50th episode of Na- the NGP podcast, the audio podcast. Yay. And we've done it 49 times, and now we're doing it again, and now it's the number 50, and that's a regular number, so we're going to celebrate. And we're all here together to... Basically, hang out, we're all drinking, and we're going to ask questions and answer questions and just kind of really dive deep into each other's subconscious, you know? Whoa. Maybe start lucid dreaming. Whoa. Um, Well, fun fact, um, we all actually dared each other to see who would last the longest, so it's it's honestly just a battle of fruition to do this podcast. Someone's going to lose. I'm, I'm not going to lose. I'm going to gonna stay on this thing until I'm 40 and decrepit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll, I'll look my kids I, in the eyes and be like, you must continue... The tradition, and then die. I'm already ahead of you there. Go, go on and continue the legend, my little tadpoles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except I don't have kids. I'm really just talking to like a, a tank full of it's fish. Just, <laughs> it's just he's talking to a d- fucking crusty sock, is what he's talking to. <laughs> I got him. Crusty yeah. sock. No, I could, hold on. I could commission a kid. I could just have someone draw a child for me. <laughs> I'm like, this is my son. I thought you were going to like say you could commission an actual kid. Yeah. I know, right? Real, like. Here's $50. Make me a kid. <laughs> it's 50 bucks. It's 911, I know a guy. <laughs> I know it's a like, guy out of Michigan who wants to build a kid. <laughs> Well, he's, asking for, he's asking specifically for an NSFW kid. It's just weird. It'd be funny. Well, with the power of Newgrounds, we can have programming to it and everything else. So if you really think about it, like, we the honestly power of make, Newgrounds, we, could... we can add programming to a child. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can make my family real. <laughs> Get on it, guys. I'm pretty we sure have Newgrounds the money. Doesn't have that we can kind of rebuild power. him. Just gonna be singing in the arms of an angel and have like a GoFundMe pose for his <laughs> children. <laughs> I'm a lonely hilarious. guy, and I just want to look at NSFW in with the little arms kids. Of an angel. 
<laughs> so except we have to word it perfectly so that that way like when it gets a shit ton of money because people feel bad for me like we then, then we just show them a drawing of a child <laughs> like, like this is what you signed up for man we made me a kid i don't know there, there you go there's your kid bacon cheeks made it right there oh thank you thank you oh that's really cute good job bacon awesome now draw it getting hit by a train because i can't deal with that responsibility wow. <laughs> right, well, welcome to the show where we're all here to talk about uh, other things <laughs> guys what's your favorite school shooting <laughs> oh. We're not Pico do that. School. No, Pico no. School. Okay, Pico no. School. Listen, Pico there's school. something that's been happening lately where, like, despite everything I say, mm-hmm. at least once per episode, somebody's just going to mention, like, school shootings and stuff just because they did it last time and they have to keep their tradition alive yeah. and stuff. <laughs> I don't understand Man, it. If you don't understand it, I just not, want you to know do I don't I. It. It's I'm so glad that I left this show. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's hard to be associated with it when, like, if someone finds out about it, you'll probably lose your job for talking about, like, I don't Girls know. Them, I already lost creating them. children, I guess. Fidel's left that job. Commissioning. Oh, yeah. Fidel is literally doing the actual version of Donald Glover coming in with the pizza and the room's on fire and he screams. <laughs> oh, hold exactly on, hold on. Right good mm-hmm. out, good out. Where were you yeah. at 50 episodes ago? Like, what was your life position right. at that point? Like, what were you doing that's different now? Go for it. Uh, Tell us. Well, Tell I us. A, Dang. I, I had a job. Mm-hmm. Now I don't. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's about it. Oh, I, that's didn't, all that I happened. didn't have a... I didn't have a dog then, and I have a dog now. Damn. Oh, about my dog? My dog's no. a yes. slapjack, yes. and he's incredible. He's a best oh. boy. Oh, he's a good I boy. Love, I love the he's name Flapjack. That's adorable. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to name my kid that. <laughs> Flapjack. <laughs> Will, I know Will's been through a hurricane at some point. I have. I Since the yeah, since the podcast began, I have been through a hurricane and a kidney stone and a cross-country move. And uh, the what else? Let's see. I got a desk. Yeah, lots of stuff has been happening. I got a desk. <laughs> the desk is right up there with a kidney stone. You know. My God. It's not my desk. I'm using somebody else's desk. Also, I uh, <laughs> I moved. So Will, And there was a pirate ship in my backyard. Will, Go what ahead. was the most intense of those? Was it the hurricane, the, the kidney stone, or the desk? The desk. Thank you for saying Yeah, the desk. All right. Fuck one, marry one, and kill one. Go. I would not the desk. Fuck the desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Josh. Mary the pirate ship. Josh, what have you gone through in 50 episodes? Oh, too many fucking of this. Too much of this. Too, way too much of this. <laughs> what is this? You fucking know what this is. What is what is this? <laughs> <laughs> you know what this he, is. You know what you're doing. You to fucking me. know. You know what you did. No. You I can't handle the truth. Fifty episodes. Uh, I've gone from being an okay host to a terrible host. I think. And I'm. No. I've been. I've been working to get this podcast canceled. I've been introducing more <laughs> racism, more so school shootings. School shootings is about it. And That's true. It just. <laughs> it keeps getting more popular. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe that's the problem? Is that our audience enjoys those things? What <laughs> yeah. the fuck is wrong right, with Everybody you in the what audience, the raise your hand if you enjoy racism. <laughs> he that's did a lot you can't see my hands. hand and you can't that's, prove it. That's some hands. Those are a couple of hands. Those are a couple of hands. We're can, doing the stage all, channel where people can actually raise hands and we see it, and kick, we're getting se- them, several hands. Kick them. Kick yeah. Them um, kick those a lot people. of people in the, in the chat right <laughs> now. That's one hand, yeah. not with several fingers. Your some band. some of them keep going up <laughs> and down. They're they're like they're literally waving them around like they just don't care. Yeah. Can we talk about Bro, something racism? else? Maybe Newgrounds. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Let's talk about something wholesome. Uh Castle Crashing. Castle the Crashing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's talk about Castle Crashing. Yeah. The Lewis and Pesto Force. Amazing game, amazing remake of a game. Who's played it? I feel I feel I feel really bad exactly. because I could have played it like a month ago. I was invited to beta <laughs> test. I told them I beta test, and I played it for the first time like yesterday. Nice. You're that guy, huh? Well, well every I beta think it test works. has one guy that says they're gonna do it, and then there's just yeah. ghost. Nothing. So Nick, 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 if you're listening, uh, the game works. Good, good job, Nick. It, works. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed a game. Can we talk about how it's been in production for like maybe three years? I think it was, and that the game says it's the the. Th- third 
an- year anniversary? It, it was going to be the tenth anniversary, and then it goes like the the it's like the twelfth. It's actually the thirteenth, but they thirteenth. I don't know. Yeah. It's like, no, no, it's no, 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 no. I think it was made in two thousand seven, and they said it's the thirteenth anniversary, but it's it's two thousand twelve. <laughs> so it's fourteen years later, and then Lewis is like, I was sick of changing the year every year that we put it off for. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> I was like, dude, come on, come on, Lewis. You and your delicious art. God damn it, Lewis. Get on the podcast so I can talk about art with you. Please. Please. Please, Lewis. Please. If you Please. hear this, know that I'm here for you. Rising and grind. This has been Zindex. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> Alright, so Josh, you actually played it. How is there a story to it right now? Or is it? Is it... I played the old one. And Zen then, hasn't played um, it. I haven't played okay. it yet. I want to stream it. it. We're gonna do NGP play plays. We're gonna do NG plays. I don't. Ooh, I, I, like I haven't played the original since it came up, so I don't know how good my memory of the original one is. But I'm pretty sure they added a shit ton more stuff. Um, mm-hmm. I know there was like two modes to the boss fight in the first one. This one, you like get all these leveling up. You change characters. I think that might have been in the first one too. But you level up a bunch. There's like pets in it. You can get that. You can get powers. Oh, unlock snap. shit. There's like yeah. technically like four phases of the boss fight now. Oh. Um, the platforms you jump on have coins in them for some reason. I don't know why, but they're, <laughs> it's there. Yeah, it's, there's it's, bugs uh, like cockroaches crawling. Yeah. And you can attack the those. fucking the fucking intro. I fucking love the very intro. It's such a throwback to the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade where you got like the fucking <gasps> sewer oh, and then yeah. the light show. Oh nice. my god! Oh yeah, that that's that's a sweet spot. Shout, <laughs> shout out shout out to X Corpse the Alien who I saw get every medal for the game. Like he chills what? in our server. He actively got every medal for Castle Crashing the Beard. Damn. <laughs> well, as somebody free? who's beaten it, yes, I've beaten it. You've beaten it? Say that oh my I beat God. the I'm not beating it right now. I beat the game. <laughs> true ga- oh <laughs> True Gamer moment. <laughs> <laughs> but, I will say, but I will say that that would have probably got my arm as jacked as doing this game because this game has this like hit button that is one button that you mash as much as possible and it's a long ass boss battle and your arm literally feels like you're Popeyeing out at the end of it because you're just like tremoring on this button the entire damn time and it's really hard. Did you, my did arm you play hurts. keyboard or did you play gamepad? I played keyboard. Oh. Um, yeah, I know. Oh man, maybe would have been do that to you. Okay, so so speaking of beating it, Will, you got to switch okay. arms every now and then so you have equal strength, and then this won't happen. Just a pro tip. <laughs> Thank you. What about both at once, both hands at once? That that works well, too. Good on good on oh. you, dude. Yeah, I guess. Like, <laughs> Thanks. You know, d- doesn't congratulations, work Courtney. <laughs> You're all picturing it. Yeah. Everybody's picturing it. That's okay. <laughs> I'm trying. Spencer, to I heard that by the Spencer, way. Spencer, can I come over and we can two player it? As long as we don't that? picture what... <laughs> what are we just, talking about here? <laughs> it's, it's an open invitation. We're using joysticks, sure, guys. Sure, Zen, you guys, can come joysticks. over. We can have like a co-op session. You know. Nice. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Awful. Okay. Why not? And, and if you're really good, if you're really good at it, you'll both win. <laughs> This is getting worse. Um. All right. Why is the Friday Night Funkin' winners not announced yet for the animation Treat jam? Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why we should we gotta wait for Ninja Muffin to get here to ask? Why? And he is why? actually coming. Uh, he is actually coming. He's actually coming. God. He is. He's actually coming. Yes. Uh, he's actually you coming. Know that? Yeah. I thought, I thought like, it's not a voice actor. The second. It's not, not Harpy really Carp. Sure Harpy Carp isn't doing an impression this time. Ninja Muffin ninety nine was gonna be here, but then he doesn't ever actually. Like, wasn't that... Did we recorded that thing where... You, no, shh, we're not thing. supposed to no, talk about... It's not a bit. Shut up, Kadel. We'll bit. kick you off. We're not talking... We're not talking about this right now. Not, <laughs> Secrets don't make friends. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> it's a wonderful game. Beard Crashing Excuse the Beard is a cool the bird, game. It was and it still is. And I'm, like, really mean. excited that they brought it back. My favorite part at the end of it all, though, is still Tom's, like, deadpan ass being the boss and just going, like, I will kill you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh Death my God. Comes you. Ow, There's like my a part, beard. Oh, Ow, a part near cat. the end where he like screams. He's like, Arr! yeah. He <laughs> screams and he goes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Everyone. Everyone knows why. Uh, why it's the beard, right? Because he didn't shave it. 
he yeah, wasn't going to no, shave actually, his beard. A lot of, a lot of people don't know that story. I, I had to tell that story to another chat earlier, so you should you should really? tell, the, tell the whole story so people know what's up. Uh, Castle yeah. Crashers was in production for a very long time, and Tom vowed to never shave his beard until that happened. It was a very long beard. And for some reason, Lewis and Pestle Force, they like making games based on Tom's life. So they made it about Castle Crash and the Beard. It's supposed to be like a little tribute to it. And we have an interview with them if you wanna if you wanna hear all about it. Um Lewis actually designed the pink Castle Crasher, I think, is how that interview goes. But either way, they, they base a lot of what they do on Tom's life. Like there's there's the other one where it's about like jumping on his nuts or something because <laughs> cause Tom got a vasectomy and they made oh. a game about it. I forget what it's called though. But it's uh, it's games based on Tom's life. Did they and also make uh, deliver that Sax bolt? Hash or something like that? I think the important thing with Castle Crash and the Beard there, if I'm remembering this right, is it came out before Castle Crashers. Oh yeah. Yes. It was yeah. yeah it turned into like a, a prototype or whatever, like a prelude to the game. Mm-hmm. Which is cool. So shout out to I them. just searched Newgrounds, Tom Phelps nuts to try to find the game you're talking about, and I Sack I smash. found some things, but I didn't find no. Some that was that was a Sack bad smash. play. Sack mm-hmm. Smash, no. that's it. Sack. What it's called what? Sack, Sack, Sack smash. smash. If you need voice lines from Tom, he'll more than likely voice in whatever you got going on. So <laughs> Cam, Cam made a game one time, like two Christmases ago, that was something like give gifts to Tom Fulp. And you just punch him <laughs> in the face and tell him voice the, the punches for the like getting Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Supportive man. As long as you're making something, he's happy. He's gonna he's gonna voice for it. Whether it's that's smashing right. his balls or smashing his beard, I guess. And you're pretty much guaranteed front page. Yeah, actually. Pretty much. We should do a, a new Pico school and have Tom voice all the all the guns in it. Pew, 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 bang, bang. Okay, so other than Pico school, and obviously other than Counts Crashing the Beard, what classic Flash game would you like to see like remade for like an anniversary edition? Oh, man. Oh, that's good. Eggie's Draw I don't Play. Know. Which Draw one? Play? Draw Play, yeah. by By Eggie. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I have an actual one. The that Frank's Adventure. <laughs> Frank's no, Adventure. No, I know. That's, not, that's an actual Frank's one, too. Adventure. But... <laughs> oh, that's, bull- that's stupid. I have a real one. No. <laughs> no, but I was thinking about a joke one, and I thought of a real one, and so I said that, and then I made – I upset – I made you mad. But uh, the what is that? The uh, Frank's Adventure, the uh, weasel one, where it's Weezy. Frank walking around a city trying to find, like, naked pictures of people. Yeah, I love that game. Yes, Big fan. and it was really good in today's culture. It was, that was the perfect time to bring it back. Oh, <laughs> Chaos Faction! Chaos Faction is a good one. I see in the chat. That'd be sweet. Newgrounds Rumble Two win. Oh my God! Newgrounds Rumble um, Two. Mind Chamber keeps posting on Twitter that he's doing something with it. So yeah, he was know. like, "Would you like it in the Smash version, or would you like it in Marvel vs. DC version?" Like, I, oh, all right, I, feel, I feel like he's just stringing us along. I feel like he's just teasing us, but you never know. I don't know. He came out retirement for Robot Rumble. I feel like, I feel like maybe Newgrounds Rumble was the reason why. You know, they both have Rumble in it. Like, if yeah, you go down this, he, this rabbit hole, he, he's like he likes working Rumbles. on it and. And then that that's why he couldn't do as much work as he wanted to because he realized it was the wrong fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't New Grounds Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Um, I would like to see Johnny Rocket Fingers remade. Ooh, yeah, yeah that's a good one. Oh, Apparent- that's a good one too. Apparently mm-hmm. he's working on uh, Johnny Rocket Fingers 3. It's been like in production for a really long time. I think he had a Kickstarter going for it and he's been, I, I know he's been creating the game for some time. I if I remember, because I looked at the Kickstarter a while, a while ago, I think he was going to try to put it on Steam. But I might be wrong about that. But I know he's been working on, uh, uh, like, a third chapter of it. Jesus, for cool. how long? I, I like, I know, though. I like it's how big these projects time. get. Like, they'll start off as something simple, and then they'll make a second one, and then it's like they... St- get funding for the third one and then they yeah. work on that for three fucking years like <laughs> like madness project nexus has been going on for like ever well, yes. fancy pants game too has been going on for a long time oh yeah, yeah. fancy pants 
Somebody yeah, said let's read. Me in the chat. That'd be a fun one. Dad and me would be sick. Oh, that would be really good too. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily you know what, I really, remake, what I, but I, I'd like to see some more Henry Stickman, just like new yeah. Henry Stickman editions. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Have you beaten every game though, Good Al? Every every, one Hen of every Henry Stickman. Every single one. Oh, I have a real one. I have a real one. <laughs> Frank's Adventure <laughs> 2. Frank's Adventure 2 is when he goes well, back. Well, shut up! And he finds pictures. And it's kind of the same thing. But I want to see it. Okay, here, here's what I want to see. It's got to be, you know, like 120 frames per second, 4K, total overhaul, don't shit your pants. Yes! <laughs> Three, wait, yeah. hold on. Th 3D Blender don't shit your like version. Don't VR. <laughs> don't yeah, shit your pants VR. VR. <laughs> yes. Shit. Don't, don't shit your pants with friends in VR. <laughs> oh my god. god. This is genius, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't shit your pants is so good. It's a fun one. What's that game that where one. it was when like Tom's kid was born? You got to deliver Tom's baby. What was that? Yeah, de <laughs> deliver that full. It's called deliver that deliver full. That <laughs> I asked that everyone, like, like did, uh, did Lewis, did, like, was Lewis part of, uh, creating that game, or did somebody else entirely make that? Oh, and that's a good so. question. Right? If it's not him, it's his energy, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Just take God, time to man has make had, a game. <laughs> what man has had more of their life, like, fossilized in Flash games than Tom Fult? I swear, <laughs> I was like, Tom could be like, what did I do last Tuesday? And then go online and be like, this is what Tom was doing last Tuesday, the platform game on Newgrounds. I was like, okay, cool. I would say probably more than Tom Fulp would be Britney Spears, George W. Bush, and Osama Bin Laden. Fair. Wow. Osama Bin Laden for Newgrounds, for sure. They were really into Osama back in those days. Oh, yeah, we love the guy. <laughs> you love that guy. Deliver that Fulp. It was made by Paper Bat. And it looks like it has the same graphics as sh Don't Shit Your Pants. Cool. Oh, what about Achievement, the game? Ga you know, where you're that elephant. What if... Achievement oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Achievement unlocked. Like, so that way you can just spend like s like seven days of your life just unlocking achievements. <laughs> so, that one was good. <laughs> it was good. It's like, it's like, Shit. What is that? JMTB02? Like, whatever his name yeah. was. He's, yeah. He was a badass. I wonder what he's up to these days. Why don't we get him on the podcast? Yeah, he yeah, probably would. Yeah, let's get him he on. He, yeah. I want to say he's working for Cartridge, the um, game store that Congregate turned into. The game store? Game store? Yeah, there's uh, Cartridge is like Congregate started. It's like a kind of like a itch.io type thing. I like the idea. Wait, that nobody's like a heard of it. Order store, so they went like the opposite yeah. way. They were like an early yeah. internet thing, and then went brick and mortar. They heard they heard what happened with Game Store and like you know what we got to get it on this brick and mortar Game Store thing all the time. Game Store. <laughs> game Store. I got Game Store stock the other day. <laughs> yeah. Josh just had an old mad moment. <laughs> Wait, hold on. If congregates, if congregates in archive mode, then how is their shop doing? Hold on. It's a separate site. It's cartridge with a K instead of a C. Cartridge. Mm. Oh, Yo. that's cute. Yeah. Yeah, cause congregate a PC games platform from congregate. Yep, I gotta buy stock now. Great, I yeah. totally believe in this. Wow. Damn, Good this I'll is be actually. Honest, though. Did you? Did you, you think know, that you this know it's podcast? Because everybody here <laughs> heard of it. Everybody here knows about it. That's how you know it's big. Yeah. Yep. But I was, I'm, I was gonna ask. Did, did you really think that the podcast would get to fifty episodes when we started it? Yeah, like, I, I thought after yeah, like thought my so. third one we'd be canceled. Like, <laughs> well, you've been I trying asked, to get us canceled. No, I asked aside, you, like, Will. Yeah, I, figured, I figured we'd hit that. I mean, if a couple of crickets can hit fifty episodes, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Your podcast, yeah. you get fifty Wait, episodes. A couple of crickets. That's true too. A cock. Yeah, this is the last episode of a couple of crickets podcast. This is yeah. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the last episode of uh, a couple of crickets. <laughs> Thank you, starring Tom Fulp. Uh Thank you, Tom Fault. Why didn't Thank we get you. Tom Thanks. for episode 50? What am I even doing here? Get Tom, get Tom on the phone. I think, Shh. I, I forgot what we conversation we were having, Will, but we were talking about something, and then you were like, well, podcasts don't really get popular until, like, around episode 50. I was like, okay, oh, so we're definitely, we're definitely hitting are, episode are we 50. So no. we're saying <laughs> we need Tom Fulp here. Yeah, no. Tom was already on the podcast. He did okay. 
He did all right. If we, if, we, if we had him on as a guest instead of a host, it'd probably go a little better. But yeah, he's a fucking terrible host. Never. Okay. <laughs> he's just not practiced yet. We'll get him in. We'll have him host more episodes, and he'll start to ask us questions. And we won't ask. And people will want to know more about Tom. We won't let him have any information about Tom. But we'll let Tom awesome. ask us about what we were doing, what we for breakfast, and yeah, uh, well, you know, how we think about the episodes, concept of huh? evil. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Same thing everybody did. We were on lockdown, dipshit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lockdown brought us all together. Thank you to coronavirus. I appreciate yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, coronavirus, for making imposters go popular or Among Us. <laughs> the Among Imposters. Us animation jam. No, in po- the imposters in general. Did you guys play the imposters game? on? I bought it at Game Store. <laughs> I got it at the Game Store. <laughs> Wait, no, wait, I have take... a real one. Frank's Adventure 3. <laughs> no! <laughs> Eat shit, you know. Meat, meat and fuck. Voices by Corey. There you go. The, ori- the original Meat and Fuck. <laughs> meat and fuck K- audiobooks. All VR, VR voices by Corey. I played this on Newgrounds in 1869 when I was four years old. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, Pico. <laughs> Pico Day is going to be a thing coming up. Wait, hey, well, oh, yeah. you know what? Friday fucking Animation Jam, right? Which one do you think won? There you go. Let's That's just, a good let's question. Just, okay. Let's, just, let's mm. just put that on the table. I, I, I got to put a disclaimer out really quickly. Um, I haven't, haven't seen one, any like, of them. Two of them. Yeah, exactly. So I'm out. <laughs> Which ones did you watch, though? Uh, shit, I don't even remember. I know I watched Bull Boys just because he was working on it in the server I'm on. Yeah. That's pretty funny. But yeah, I, I really the like one. the I really like the PlayStation commercial one. That was easy. That's the one I saw. Ones. That one, yes. Yeah, that's, that's great. One. I think everyone okay, likes that, that one. one win. Okay, then that one wins because I saw that it. one might win. If that's the one we all remember and say, "Oh, that was really good." <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Was that was I really, really like that one because it's the one I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one because I watched it. Yeah. No, but I think it's going to be one. I think the one that wins is likely. This is where my money is. It's going to be one that has that rap, like Kawhi Sprite's rap song in it that he actually recorded. Yeah, a lot of them I, use Kawhi Sprite's actual like rap remix of his own soundtrack, oh. and they're all dope, and they are all really cool. Oh, you said mm-hmm. only cool. one though. So it's like it's like saying Post Boy and MK Mafo can't both win because they both use I know. rap. I like know. Was, I'm just yeah, saying. I think the one that wins is going to be one of those, but I don't know which one it is. That's a that's a not very risky bet. I know, but <laughs> you know that's how I go. It's not risky. <laughs> one of the at all. things, like yeah. one of the things that I noticed, like those who used uh, Kawhi Sprite's uh, remix, um, it seemed like they all tried to do like a commercial slash music video, and all of those were so damn good. I just just yeah. like the flow of it, like it did feel like a commercial or it did feel like a, a music video. So it was really cool. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of those were um, you know some of the top places in the contest. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Uh, blamed. Blamed. Blam, blam, uh, uh, shout out to fuck. What is his goddamn name? Uh, <laughs> Chip, wow, that's quite chips. <laughs> chips wow. go whoa. Chips Go Whoa did a really funny, like, just really chill uh, casting, like, animation. So it's, like, it's, like, the next week, seven, and everyone just shows up, and it's just Ninja Muffin and the crew just, like, fucking around. It's super low-key. Like, everything else is, like, really high energy, but this one's yeah. just, like, chill. So I, I think that one might get some some points just for being, like, on off the beaten path, being a little mm-hmm. different. I think that might be the hardest part about ju- judging this contest, because a lot of people just went with, like kind of the same like high energy but like beautiful visuals i've seen so many fucking awesome visuals from this jam yes. so i can see why it's taking them forever you know maybe when week <laughs> seven comes out jesus i just i know cam's probably working really hard on like the ui in different settings and like be- yes. making it like optimized and that, that something to make it load the load time easier and stuff i know that's become a choke point for them like the bigger it has gotten lately the longer the load time has been and it kind of starts to be prohibiting from actually playing the game. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's trying to do some dynamic load thing. And, and, like, beyond that, you can only imagine how many people are like, oh, I wish this was in settings. I wish this was in settings. <laughs> and then maybe yeah. they might have, like, uh, like an animation finally, because I know originally they wanted animations for every week. So 
That's I don't know. I'm excited. If it doesn't deliver, well, <laughs> everyone's gonna be pissed, but they, everyone's still gonna be happy because you get week seven finally. What What if yeah. it comes out and it has like built-in native mod building like in the game? No, That's interesting. Yeah, that would be okay. how hard would that be to utilize? Jesus Christ! I mean, that's completely oh, no. out the wall. But like, yeah, I mean, well, I was thinking that, or they have at least some kind of showcase, like how Skyrim eventually got to start to show mods of it, like in the game yeah. itself. And like, yeah. I don't really care. I just wanted to raise the expectation and make make it harder for Cam. That's all I want to do here. <laughs> VR. So I've never played a Friday Night Funkin' mod. What is that? Like, what is a FNF mod? What even is that? You basically you can swap out the um, the track, the art, um, like the sheet for the animation stuff, so they can put in like whatever fucking characters they want, whatever song they want. Oh, mm-hmm. so good. Uh, like imagine you had the folder files for it because it's it's all open source, right? So it's on GitHub, and you can just swap out assets. So like if you don't want that to be the boyfriend, you can swap it out with like let's say the troll face guy, or like or like your own dad, like a GIF of your dad, and you can just swap <laughs> it out with that and make your own yeah. little. Uh, animations yeah. and everything else okay. so that's do what think, people do you think do. anybody has modded this to get over daddy issues do you think that's happened <laughs> okay <laughs> all right <John. laughs> yeah. i just want to battle my dad and he loves <laughs> me now <laughs> yeah. like, battle you, my you dad. Battle, take these you battle the dad, dad but the take the people you battle the dad dad. but the girlfriend is also the dad so you're battling him but you're also getting his <laughs> approval <laughs> <laughs> I think we just made the next big mod, boys. <laughs> your dad. There you go. Just your it's dad. It's going to be my dad well, specifically, yeah. Why won't yeah. you love me, dad? <laughs> Some random person plays it, and it's like, this is really specific. Um, there's the, the mom and like where they live and like their address. <laughs> See, dad, I told you I could follow arrows slash directions. <laughs> I'll say that's that the most of the mods seem to have been blisteringly hard. Like I think there's one called Hex that's not blisteringly hard, but for the most part, they're all like just insane, like the fire and the flames on Guitar Hero level, like <laughs> yeah. for no reason. Because why not? Where's my Where's my easy levels. mode modders at? Where's my easy mode modders? Like I need an easy mode, I right? Need that. Well, did you guys see that uh, the songs have hit the have hit the Hot 100 Billboard? Yeah, that's fucking yeah. dope. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? What? You didn't yes. know that, Will? No. Yeah, MILF was in what uh, happened? Billboard Top 100. Yeah, like 41. Dope. Yeah, Quice writes MILF landed on the Hot Billboard 100 at 41, and what he, the had, fuck? he heard he heard from someone that it played at a Target once, like it was playing overhead <laughs> at, at no. Target. Yeah, yeah. Tara, Bex, oh my God. Tara Bex on Twitter said that they heard, um, they heard, I think it was MILF. Yeah, they heard MILF in Target. <laughs> what the hell? Awesome. Wild. No way. I would have gone, I would have gone crazy. I'm like, no fucking way, yeah. I know. <laughs> and then, I would have no. thought somebody was like accidentally playing Friday Night Funkin' on the Target, like work computer or something and just had it jacked into the speakers. <laughs> that would be ballsy and awesome as well as dope. I, mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Um, and Goodell, you asked, you're asking what a mod was, and actually one of the songs for one of the mods that came out ended up on the Hot Billboard uh, 100 as well at like 40 or something. It's like Cervente or something like no Zavo de, de, uh, de la, Zavo de la from a mod. You're making up words now. Come no, on. I, Zavo de la <laughs> ended up on the Hot Billboard 100 as well. So like, it's congratulations to Yabba Dabba Doo. It's <laughs> fucking wild, man. The way it's just taking over. What do we think? What do you think the next big Newgrounds thing is gonna be? Because how are we supposed to? How, how are we supposed to that? top Friday Night Funkin'? What do we make? I Come know, on! I would, li- I would like what to is think the next that this one? is actually like a a sign of things to come, right? Like I'd like to think that Friday Night Funkin' isn't the last. You know, it seems to me like we're on the on the upward. Right. So well, I mean, we uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. this year we had Among Us, you know. Yeah. For this last yeah, but was that really? That's Dude, not that like was... on the front page of Newgrounds, I guess. But you're you're still right, though. That is very Newgrounds yeah, adjacent. I mean, it comes got a lot of, of... Yeah. No, but it doesn't so... feed back into Newgrounds as much as like Friday Night Funkin' does. Like, yeah, there is no so. Among Us on Newgrounds. There's no reason to go to Newgrounds. There's not even there's not even a Newgrounds link on the Among Us game. It, you know this is where I gotta rant a little. This is where I gotta rant a little bit about Newgrounds. Like, I love Tom and I love the direction he takes the site in, but his love seems to be like really on the art side and the movie side. 
And the mm-hmm. game side has been kind of neglected, and I get that because like games are a hard to make, and b web based gaming is very much on the decline. Mm-hmm. But every major freaking explosion that that gives back to Newgrounds comes from the game side of the community every time. That's a yeah. good point, actually. So I, I think I think we need to get more love in there, man. We got to get more love in the game side and stuff. Game jam. It's funny too because <laughs> no Tom love for the audio side. A, yeah. Oh well. Fuck developer. the audio side. <laughs> yeah. Who cares about audio people? Well, no, yeah. Spazer. What yeah, do you think of the audio? Like, audio do you think Newgrounds? <laughs> this is interesting, Spazer. I want to know from you. Do you think that Newgrounds is giving proper like time and space to the audio side of things, or do you think they're like dropping the ball, like Josh says, it is for the hasn't games? been the case. So, like, you know, the feature where you can. Uh, um, vote on things and rank up just by voting, like ranking things. Um, that wasn't a fe- like you couldn't level up through upvoting or ranking music stuff until like a few years ago. Yeah, same with the art portal. It was it was just what used to be the flash portal. And yeah. Wow. So and the and the art portal got some love when uh, Tumblr decided that it didn't want any more NSFW stuff. So welcome Newgrounds, welcome that stuff back. Open arms. Right. Um, but like. When people talk about Newgrounds, they're not going to say, like, oh, he this uh, producer came from the audio side of Newgrounds or whatever. Like, they're going to know the games. They're going to know, like, some of the movies that got Newgrounds on right. the map. Yeah. So, like, I get it that it's, it would definitely not be in Tom Fulp's main point. I exclusively, like, know the audio side of it for the past six years so like, it's kind of funny when I'm yeah. on. It's like you guys tell me, "It's like, oh, you remember this thing?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, so that's the other well, thing yeah. with the audio. Like we were talking about how Kawhi Sprites, you know, charted on the billboards and shit. But when people hear that song on the billboard and go to find it, they ain't finding it on Newgrounds. They're, they're gonna find that's it right. on you know everywhere else. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like like you said, Newgrounds. Like we we try and take care of our audio people. Um, we want them to have a good experience there primarily because we want them to collaborate with people on things like games and movies. That's always, that's what the audio portal was built for, you know, so the people yeah. making the bigger things find resources. But on the other hand, you know, I would love it to be a springboard for people with, you know, starting their musical careers and stuff. I don't know now, how we that is really definitely the case. Like off. with the way it pans out, like you can put stuff on YouTube, you'll get like 20 listens. You'll post stuff on SoundCloud and you might get a follower every other week. You put stuff on Newgrounds, especially when a contest season is coming up, which, by the way, it is, and you'll get, like, <laughs> tons of feedback. You'll get, like, at least, like, um, 50, like, at minimum, 50 plays to start off with, with, like, oh, hey, cool. And then you can easily find forums um, that talk about, hey, this is where you can put some feedback yep. here, or, hey, there's this thing here. Um, I've kind of helped create a Discord server where you can have, like, production stuff, like, production questions come around and be like hey i got this thing and there's usually a good handful of people uh i'm not as involved with it as much as i'd like but there's a good handful of people that are regularly coming back it's like hey this sounds decent or hey you could use something different with the drums here so like the yes. community itself like thr- like drives itself so well when you, when you think about who's who's helped the audio portal the most it would have been geometry dash i mean depending on how problematic you even saw that in the first place but the amount of love that came out of geometry dash was from rob top just wanting to promote audio yeah. off of new grounds mm-hmm. and then people started getting hella thousands of listens just based on that and the oh, i yeah. guess the the reason i want to disagree with josh on the whole friday night funkin is getting like to a point to where like people don't visit Newgrounds for it. It's just that it has its characters based in like Newgrounds. So, no, no, I'm not saying Friday Night Funkin' isn't bringing people. I'm just saying people who aren't necessarily familiar with the game. Like if you're a Friday Night Funkin' fan, absolutely you're going to find Newgrounds. But if you're the guy that heard it playing in Target and goes, oh, this is a good song, what's it called? You're probably not going to get it on Newgrounds. You're probably going to look up the charts. I still or can't believe it was heard on Target. Mm-hmm. Like but I cannot what's, get over what's, this. What's nice about that, though, it's it's part of the OST for the game. And then they'll be like, oh, Friday Night Funkin', what the hell is that? And then it leads back. Like, it does have that trickle effect. Like, it has yeah. a nice, nice way of right. linking everything back to Newgrounds, which I feel like is impressive. Just yeah. the way I guess, I guess, that, that works. I guess by that logic, then, you're just proving my other point that we need to give the games more love so that everybody else gets love. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> exactly. Well, if you think now, of Binding of Isaac, if you think of uh, Among Us, there's no Newgrounds like, references in there. There's nothing that will ever trickle back to Newgrounds unless you knew that they started off there at some point. That's true. 
It's all in the trivia. Yeah. Wait, and that it's interesting. Because, okay, you guys are talking about something that I was thinking about asking too, and based on questions we that people were requesting that we talk about today. We thank you guys for putting those in. But do you think that people who go to Newgrounds for Friday Night Funkin' are staying on Newgrounds and finding out more about Newgrounds, or do you think they're just going there and not going anywhere past that? I'm still you adjusting to the fact that Friday Night Funkin' is not a Newgrounds thing. <laughs> like it right. exists outside of Newgrounds. <laughs> or even like even if only one percent of the people who go to Newgrounds to play Friday Night Funkin' click out of Friday Night Funkin' and check out the rest of the website, that's still like a good chunk of people. Well, mm-hmm. let me put it this yeah. way, okay? Years back, Mind Chamber and I made a game version of his Pico's Unloaded movie. Right? It's an old game. It's a flash game. It's it's buried because of its age. Ever since Friday Night Funkin' had Pico in the game, that game is now getting, like, a thousand new views every fucking week. Oh. So there's absolutely people coming in and branching out and finding out more about these characters in the game, for sure. Okay, that's good. That's really I good. Think, I think that's, that's cool. one thing they did with the lore that w- makes a lot of sense, because now people want to play Pico School just to get some background information, and then they explore further. They want to learn more. So yeah. I've, Newgrounds does well in of, its, in of itself to be an awesome playground for its own characters, you know? And, like, yeah. they have all these lores and, and different archetypes going on, different things you can, like, literally oh, dive yeah. into and get excited about. And that that I, do, I do like a lot. So To bring it back to I the agree. audio portal, though, I think... It would actually would be really cool if, because I do kind of see the audio portal as a place for, I don't know, if I'm making a game, I go to the audio portal to get music from it. And I listen to stuff on the audio portal from time to time, but I think it'd be really cool if the audio portal had some way to feel more like a standalone thing, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, yeah, it, yeah. It kind a lot of people like ask about like an app. Well, yeah, a lot of people ask about like an app for Newgrounds, and like realistically, an app for all of Newgrounds is just never going to happen. We're not going to get all of Newgrounds approved on any fucking app store. You know, they're, they're <laughs> right. they censored too much. But that said, a good audio portal app could potentially be a really good platform for people. Um, you know, you could yeah. have playlists, radio stations, all that good shit. Um, mm-hmm. so that's definitely something I would I would love to see. Uh, whether or not that is a priority at any point it's hard to say um i would like to be a priority but i've got a lot (laughs) on my plate i know that i know little jim's got a lot on his plate um maybe maybe when we get to like ten thousand supporters let's let's make that the goal ten thousand supporters let's boost up them rookie numbers come on people asap you know one thing friday night funkin you know what you'd really like supporting new grounds let's do it (laughs) exactly (laughs) you know something that's like maybe this is a good middle of the road thing is if Newgrounds had a more official presence on Spotify and like was Ooh. a very big curator of music that was from Newgrounds that's also on Spotify. Here we go. Hot damn, cool. bro. That would be so nice. you don't have it be like the, you know, the app because you know people are going to listen to Spotify, not like Newgrounds Audio. That's a good point. Whatever. I will say that we have like there has been instances where uh, the audio portal, I'll say, has had like a YouTube channel or like a. Uh, I want to say, like, their own Discord. Um, and some of that has been around with mild success. Uh, but having maybe, like, a Spotify Newgrounds shingdig mm-hmm. would probably be really <laughs> cool. I just, I wonder how the money works in that case. Because when they do, like, the animation compilations on YouTube, like, any, you get, what, 7 million views on a on a 30-minute video like, would, where, how does that money go back to the people that made it? Like, obviously, that would be, like, the most genuine case. But It would be... The thing is, it would be through Spotify's, like, playlist system. So... Yeah. So, the tracks would still... Like, any listen to any track would still be, like, counted toward the artist that made it. Just right. by the way yeah, yeah, that yeah. Spotify works. Well, let, let, me, let me throw this out there, then. Because, obviously, Newground staff probably doesn't have the resources to manage and curate this what if a community just came together and decided to make a new ground spotify that's quasi official and push the shit out of it what's stopping that from happening i like this idea would new grounds if that happened would new grounds then like be able to push with the support like would maybe there be a link on the front page or something you know yeah i, I imagine we would yes yeah. i mean you know anytime we've had like like when before the um Newgrounds Discord went to shit, the old one that Ivan was running. 
you know, we push that even though we weren't running it. You know, we push um, all sorts of stuff like that. So I don't, I don't see why. Podcast. If it, yeah, if it, if it was run by you know a dedicated group of people who were serious about managing it, and it's a lot of energy to run something like that. It's it's not easy. Yeah, um, he's just politics. Why didn't I get on the playlist yeah. if he did? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like it, one, if you, if the community tries doing something like this, they'll they'll immediately understand why the staff probably is never going to do it. <laughs> But really? if, yeah. if they did it and it didn't get like if there wasn't like a lot like a big problem we've seen in other things like that is, is gatekeeping and if we didn't have a lot of that happening I think we'd probably be able to get behind it really good. Yeah, I, I do see it, a big beautiful uh, Newground Spotify button on the front page right next to the big beautiful Newgrounds podcast button on the front page. Wait, this well, is Newgrounds I, podcast I button the on the front page. If I say it enough, there will be. <laughs> Listen to the I, official I Newgrounds guy. podcast. <laughs> I know a guy. I think we can make it happen. Get him drunk and he might just do anything that <laughs> well, hey, success, guys, you know? can, Is there a button? <laughs> well, that's that's the thing with the with Newgrounds. The community gets behind something, and it, I mean, it starts off slow, obviously, but as soon as people start like learning about it, it gains traction, and then next thing you know, you got kind of like a cool little crowd with you. Like it might not be the biggest thing ever, but what's important is just getting it out there. I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, like this whole this whole modern podcast thing that like when Ground Patrol and Cricket started, you know. It was just like a, a thing that came out of nowhere, but you know, after a while, when we saw like how serious you guys were to you know promoting the community and doing these great shows and stuff, like they fucking gave Goodell front page posting permissions and shit, like for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah little box, like, oh, sick. Already had little box, it. Already had little box. Yeah, <laughs> I was already an established member of the community. Thank you very much. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> but now that you're not an official host, we should probably revoke that shit. Got him. <laughs> Ooh, he shouldn't have said anything. Should have said anything. <laughs> Chomped right up. Dang, Nicely that's done. painful. But yeah, I mean, we get, we get behind people that, that push the community. So like, yeah, if if the auto community wants to make the Spotify thing happen, fucking do it. Just do it. Yeah. And if it, if you do it well, mm. we are behind you. We are totally behind you. Now would be a great time for me to say that we read all of our comments. And if you're an audio person listening to this right now, leave a comment about what you think about the audio Spotify idea that we're having. And if you want to do it... Do it. Yeah, more power to you. (laughs) And at Tom uh, Fulp in every comment. At Tom Fulp in every comment. He loves it. Yeah, he reads all of them. (laughs) And make sure you talk to... uh, (laughs) <laughs> Make sure you talk to Spadzer, who's spearheading this whole operation single-handedly. Oh as yeah, the new, definitely. New Grounds Spotify leader. No, it's yeah, called yeah. the it's called the Spadzer New Grounds Podcast Spotify Endeavor. <laughs> 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 okay, it's, we got to work on that title. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> I, I just tried oh, to figure out what the acronym experience. was, there and I got a nosebleed. <laughs> so, Chat miles with the Spadzer experience. There we go. <laughs> So <laughs> it's, what is it's like the Xander Zone? <laughs> what like the Xander Zone? What is the next big thing then? Because it just seems like you just get lucky. You just you collaborate or you make something out of love, and then it it just catches on somehow. Like, yeah, that's if how I had it works. To guess, if, if I had to guess, the next best best thing's probably gonna be Nightmare Cops. When is that oh, really? coming out? We can't just wait on that forever. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be 32 by the time that comes if, out. If, <laughs> if Castle Crashers was any indication, it should be out probably early 2035. <laughs> Very good. But no, I think it's going to be another game. I do. Yeah. I think games have the... Yeah. Like, the, I think the games are usually a big enough project and have enough, like, meat in them to be able to sustain a fan base for a, a good while. And I think that, uh, like, Among Us and Friday Night Funkin' lately have shown that if there's something that really hooks people and they can talk about it together and talk about it with each other, you, you got yourself a fan base. You're cooking with gas, yeah. you know? And I think that, honestly, I think that lately movie series, by contrast, have struggled a little bit on Newgrounds. I think in another universe, that would be the big thing that everyone's rallying around talking about the series. But I, I don't really see many Newgrounds shows or like serial animations branching out. Do you? What about Satina? Satina is one, and it just has one Dun- episode. You know, Duncan and Jones. Yeah, the big one that comes, the big one that comes to mind for me is uh, Sublo and Tangy Mustard. 
Yeah, Sublon Tangy Mustard. Right, but I don't see Sublon Tangy Mustard getting uh, that explosive well, viral. Hold on, Will. No, now we got to shut you down because there's <laughs> Joel G with uh, Ina. Basically, in any background, Gentles. Gentles was great from the animation. Oh, yeah. oh man. Okay. Any background you one. see on Newgrounds that, that features like any icons like that were made, they're always mainly from animations. Like they're Okay. The, Friday Night Funkin's kind of different, but because of the way it's blown up, that, that fits in everywhere. You got me on that, but only thing. Oh, uh, Mr. Ace Expensive Milk says Monster Lab. And yeah, you're right about that because Meat King is a great thing. Yeah. But you're saying you're completely right. Those characters get onto the Newgrounds banners, but they're not spreading that far outside of Newgrounds, I don't think. Here's Whereas the I games are going outside. Like, okay, so short of an animator making like the entire season and then releasing it, I think that's mm -hmm. kind of the problem. You have these short release cycles where you have these characters, you watch the movies. Like, I fucking love Monster Lab. It's fucking great. Mm -hmm. But I watch Monster Lab, and then I don't see another one forever. It's not something that's, right. that's persistently with me. When a game comes out, you know, I got to sit down and devote a chunk of time to this game. I'm going to play this game for more than the 5 to 20 minutes that an animation that comes out once a month or every other month, whatever it is. This game is going to get in my head. I'm going to have an experience with these characters or whatever it is. And it, it's so much different. And once you have that experience with those characters and you fall in love with them over this long period of dedicated time where you're binging it, yeah, that's when you want to be, you become a God. fan, like a real fan, like the, the fanatic of Dude, the game. Dude, you're 100% like, love, right. Yeah, like I love these cartoons. I love Satina. I love Monster Lab. I wouldn't say that I would be like fanatical about any of them. I love Sublo and Tangy Mustard, but I wouldn't get fanatical about that. But a good game, that that lives in my head for a long time. And I, I'm not the the fan art type of guy, but if I was, that's what I'd be drawn. And I think it's you're right because simply because of the amount of time that you invest into the art, like you sit in it and you live in it for a little bit, and you understand the characters better and. Just like the amount of time you put into it. Like Satina, it's amazing and beautiful, but if you spend five minutes on it uh, and then six months later you haven't seen any more, then you drift. Yeah, That's a really so, hard thing I'm sure they struggle with. And that, that, that is one of the differences between animations and, and games. Like, sure, it'll take a long time to make a, a game, and it'll take a long time to make an animation. But like Josh said, you watch an animation, that could be the one and only time that you watch it. You play, You can play a game over and over and over and over again and, and and pretty much the big difference is the difference is traction so like you can't upload much, a yeah, game traction, on yeah. youtube you can't upload a game on youtube so then when satina's getting like three million views on youtube and they're they're getting like monetized and they they get enough money to be able to like further different adventures like making a game mm -hmm. just seems less appealing but at the same time, just how you market it, because you what you sell a five dollar game on Steam, but it catches on to like a million people. The next thing you know, you know it was worth it. it it's it's a weird and, avenue because most and, of the animations on Newgrounds do really well on YouTube, but not all the yeah. games on Newgrounds do really well anywhere else. That's and, true, and, and you know that is it is a downside, but at the same time, uh, putting it out on different channels also kind of in my opinion, kind of devalues animations in a sense too. Like, cause you do have new grounds, you do have YouTube, um, and you do have other video platforms where you can post up, you know, all these different videos, people can watch them instantly. And it's just, you know, that's why a lot of the animators like, you know, Zach and, and, and Chris, even Mick, you know, they, they kind of turn away from, you know, they turn away from being content creators and, you know, spinning out animations as quickly as they possibly could because it's just a pain in the ass and you can lose traction if you're not posting stuff right away. If you're mm -hmm. putting time and effort into a really good game and you have people playing the game, you know, they're going to want to stick to that game and put time and, you know, basically grow with the game as, you know, yeah. exactly what we see. And, and again, Night when you when you, when you put the game out, uh, like Friday Night Function is kind of an exception to the rule and but normally when you put a game out, you put the whole fucking game out. You know, you, yeah, exactly. you get the yeah, entirety yeah, yeah. of it. You're not getting bites. Friday Night Funkin' is kind of the exception to the rule where they put out, like, a fun little game jam game. And they just happen to get the attention at the right place, the right time. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to knock Friday State, Night Funkin'. I don't Dead Estate's coming Night out Funkin'. with a bigger version. Right, but see, here's the thing. I don't want to knock Friday Night Funkin'. It is a good game. 
but I think it's a, it, it's very similar to Castle Crashers in that it hit with the right people in the right spot at the right time. I don't I don't know that if Friday Night Funkin' came out today that it would do as well as it has. Because it came out I, in that game jam and it got just the right traction with the game jam audience. It got the, the, the streamers playing it. it. It's very similar to when Castle Crashers oh. came out. Castle Crashers, great game. But it also came out when Xbox was doing that summer of arcade and pushing these, these independent yeah. games. It was and Like freaking Rocket League, hit. same thing. Right, right, right. And that's actually what happened with Among Us, if you look at it. Among Us came out two years before it got yeah. popular. But it hit when we were in the middle of a goddamn pandemic and people wanted shit to do and streamers started playing it and it, they found it was fun, caught on in Asia and then came over here, um, you know, they, it could have went a whole other way. So a lot, a lot of it is just fucking luck and just lucky timing. Uh, all good games. I'm not shitting on the games, but the amount of success they're having, there is a huge degree of luck in there. And I think Cam would be the first one to admit to that. That's true. Yeah. So yeah. my question is, when you have success like this, quick, explosive success... What's the best thing you can do? Like, what write it out. should you? Yeah, how do you write it out? In what way? Because I've no, thought about no, this no. a lot with Cam you and don't write it out. You don't write it out. What what Cam has done that is fucking genius is he has kept adding to it, expanding the lore. Once you get people hooked, they want more. So you fucking mm-hmm. give them more. And yeah, this whole so thing of releasing, which, yeah. <laughs> No, writing it out to me is just, you know, you get the fame and you're just like, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm just going to sit there and take it. I'm going to write it out. He's not, writing it out is not the same as hustling. You know? Uh, that's right. It's like yeah, Cam, I thought about- Cam and everybody involved is hustling. You know, fucking Isaac's pumping out hits. Fucking Phantom Arcade's making all the art, all this shit. You know, yeah. all these guys are hustling their asses off and they're making the best product they can make. Like, they did this Game GM game, and I'm sure even when they did the Game GM game, they had an idea for what Friday Night Funkin' would be as a full game. And they probably had a plan to finish it and put it on Steam or something. And normally what you would do is you would do a prototype game, you'd do a Game GM, you'd get the feedback on it, and then you'd make the whole game and then release it. That wouldn't work as well for these guys. These guys were hot, they knew they were hot, and they kept striking the iron, and they kept making it bigger... And, you know, right now, like, everybody's just salivating, waiting for week seven. They're on the hook. And mm-hmm. they're going to stay on the hook because they keep getting more, more, more. And they're on social media saying, hey, guess what we're working on? Hey, here's a little teaser. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. here's the worm. You know, God. so I, I, think that, I think what they're doing is fucking perfect. You know yeah, what? If I, was releasing perfect. A, if I was releasing a game and I was working on a game project, and I, I do game program on my own sometimes, and so maybe I will come out with something soon. I would 100,000% make it episodic. I would make it an episodic release. I would do it in small bites. I'd make like a core engine and then just like iterate as I go and release small bits as I go and just keep the community growing and mm-hmm. keep the art and lore growing. I think he's almost accidentally stumbled on something that could actually be a really good model for games in general. Episodic, Definitely. small bits. Definitely. So I want to run with this. So go. say you're wanting to make a game. How do you assemble people to help you make the game? Like, who? Are you, how are you going to get someone <laughs> to make your music? How are you going to get your voices? How are you going to well, get see, your... See, that's, that's kind of the trick. Okay, so there's, there's kind of two parts to this. And this is where Newgrounds is one of the best places on Earth. First of all, you have to build somewhat of a reputation. Um, yes. A lot, a lot of it could just be fucking self-hype. You might not necessarily have to make anything, but a lot of self-hype. You have to be confident enough to be willing to contact people that you think are higher up the chain than you, shit like that. But, like, look at everybody involved with Friday Night Funkin'. You know, before Friday Night Funkin', they were still all fairly well-known on Newgrounds. They had all done a little something here and there. Um, I think Cam would be the first to admit he's not the, the, the greatest programmer necessarily, but he's shown that he was willing to put in the time and work to actually finish projects. You know, he got Ritz and all that shit done. He's worked on all these other collaborations. So he's proven, A, that he can get a project done, B, that he collaborates with people well. So he's, he's set there. You've got, um, like, Isaac. He's just never made terrible music, you know? So when you're going after a guy for a music <laughs> game, that's, mm-hmm. that's who you shoot for, right? So Cam has the balls to say, hey, let's make this game. And he has the balls to shoot out to Phantom Arcade. We're going to do this. You want in? And, you know, and, and it's also the timing. If there's a big game jam and people, a lot of people love doing game jams, it's, it's like fucking prom. You, you, you find your dance partner. You ask them if they want to go to the dance before someone else asks them. It's really the same thing. Yeah. Like, you know, you might be scared to ask the hot girl, the hot cheerleader to go to the dance with you. But you know what? You ask her, she might fucking say yes. 
So <laughs> it's it's that it's that whole mentality. You got to have the confidence, but you also have to have a little bit of experience to back it up. And new grounds, there's no better place to get that little bit of experience. You don't have to be the best artist in the world. You don't have to be the best programmer in the world. You just have to make something. You have to get through the review process that people you like. have to prove that you can do a couple. Yeah, you just have to prove you can do a couple projects. That's it. And yeah. That's it. You're, so, you're yeah. so right on the experiencing in particular. When you're doing a volunteer project like this where nobody is necessarily like, it's not like the funding is there and now you're hiring employees. When you're doing a volunteer-based game project like this, your freaking reputation is your currency. And you're yep. being able to hire a team and find people based on your reputation you've built. And you build your reputation by working on other projects, sometimes even as a smaller part of a team. I think a lot of people don't realize that. Is yeah. that you gotta like you can't be Michael Bay on day one, right? If you're gonna <laughs> no, come exactly. in and like have a team, it's better to be part of a team and let yourself kind of build rapport and network a little bit and build your skills a little bit, and then when you want to do your thing, everybody already knows you a little bit. Instead of coming yeah. in from the beginning as a stranger and going, I want to assemble a team who will make my game for me. You don't know me, doesn't matter. It's gonna be genius. <laughs> like, and, and the other, the other thing to remember is you always want to do small shit. You want to start yes. with small shit. Um, yes, it's hard. Like, if you if you build a team and you make a small game, and it turns out you guys don't necessarily mesh super well, you'll still probably finish that project because it's a small thing. But if you start a big get project, you have like your your dream game, and you haven't done a lot of little stuff, and somehow you have this big project, and somehow without any other shit, you've managed to assemble a team. Good chance it's going to unravel and you're going to be stuck with nothing and a bunch of people <laughs> that like, don't work with this guy because he doesn't finish anything. Uh, so yeah, start, do a lot of small projects, you know, demonstrate. It's like building a portfolio, you know, when you're, when you're going into design or whatever, you know, you, you show like the little bit of fine art you've done. You show like little projects you've done. You don't show like giant ad campaigns you did for Fortune 500 <laughs> companies because you don't have right. those yet. You know, it's the same thing. And, and again... New Grounds is the perfect place for this. You can find people to work with quite easily if you get in the forums, you get on the, the collaborator, whatever. Find Discord groups. You can find people here on the New Grounds podcast if you want to work on something. Yeah. Game um, jams? You know, yep, yeah, exactly. Game jams are a perfect thing. If, if you see a game jam and you've never, wanted, or you've never been in a game jam before, but you have a skill, even if you're not the greatest programmer, you're not the greatest artist, you're not the greatest musician, as long as you're good or you have the drive to get good, just fucking throw your, your fucking name in the hat. Say, hey, I want to get in on this. Anybody want down on it? And, yeah. you know, use those resources. Use our server. Use Newgrounds. You'll find dance partners. You might not make the fucking best game in the world, but you'll gain experience. You'll get reviews. You'll get a, a portfolio. And here's the thing. If you make six games that are garbage, but seven and eight are really good, people will still see. You've got eight projects, and they know <laughs> two of them. Like, that's, that's right. fine. So, yeah. Fucking go do it. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. That's, just that's do do it. it. Make your dreams come true. Just <laughs> do it. Josh, you yeah. kind of you kinda hinted at that a, a few times, or this this sort of concept that I was thinking while you were talking about that too. But then your ending note was still still the one thing, and I'm thinking that's not just for games. No. To me, that seems to be true for anything. Right, yeah. like that was kind of my experience with doing podcasts too. Like when Little Box and I started Crickets, we started out literally just interviewing our friends. Like we got people on from Flow Downstream to talk to us for a bit. And I don't know, Will, if this was your experience. I know you kind of jumped in, like with uh, <laughs> Twonix and stuff, like real quick. But yeah, we we started with like just you know little people that we knew. And then, you know, more and more as we built up more episodes, we were like, all right, now let's hit up Aaron Long. Okay, now let's get to, you know, this part, you know, like whatever. So that same concept can be applied to anything. Maybe you don't want to be a game developer, but you've got, you know, aspirations yeah, to do exactly. whatever. It's the same, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, then Will, Will's a good example. Like, uh, not, not too bad, but I'm kind, of a, I'm kind of a big <laughs> deal. But uh, Will, Will actually hit me up for grounds patrol fairly early on and i had no fucking idea who he was what it was and so before i agreed i literally went and like listen like what is this guy doing and so you know I, i'm not saying twonix is a, a little person by any means but what i listened to was those was those interviews like he could have interviewed anybody 
And I probably would have agreed to Benal because listening to his interview style, I was like, okay, this guy has his shit together. He's a good interviewer. Uh, I actually kind of like listening to him talk. So yeah, I'm totally down to interview that guy. So same thing Holy with time. crickets. Like I I I, learned, I listened to your early episodes of crickets, and like you and Little Box had such a good rapport, and that's what crickets was all about was you two doing a show. So it was easy for anybody. I'm sure Aaron Long probably listened. Is like, oh, these guys are fun. I, I will definitely be on this show. Like yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you interview, what you do. Yeah, just fucking do it. Your reputation just- is what you build first, and then you can get whatever you want. You can get whatever you want with it. It's literally so easy. Just make a reputation. <laughs> Wait, I have a real one. So easy. Frank's Adventure Four. Frank's- <laughs> Shut up! I have a real one. All right, we got we got Patreon questions though. We gotta get to the. Oh yeah, we have stuff to do. Yeah, we got we other things to do. It's gonna be a right, long one. It. It's okay. I'm happy for okay. it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm having fun. I'm here. For, I'm here for the long haul. Let's do it. Hell yeah! Please, please hire me. My time. family is starving. Says, do you think that NG will see a resurgence in the future, or is it only a decline from here on out? Oh, it's resurging. Be- it's on the way up. Yeah, on the way up is- for sure. Yeah. You I know feel what? Like we've been on the way up for a long time, and I feel like it's not slowing down. Where in, if anything, it's speeding up, like with Friday Night Funkin' and what have you. Like, we yeah, are yes. the epitome of Shia LaBeouf in front of a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's, here's, here's the thing. Newgrounds is going to do it. They're just going to do it. Wait, I have a real one. Uh, I, <laughs> I was talking to Tom a while back, and uh, Tom had just like offhandedly mentioned that we hit like a certain number of supporters and I was 3,000, like, like, I think like, I remember like the push to even get like 2000 or like even before that, you know what I mean? It's like, we, I don't know. We're going up. We're going yeah. up. Yeah. The stocks, they only you know go what? up. Moving on up. This Baking. is something that I don't know if, I don't know how people feel about this, but it's something I've thought for a long time and it actually does go into this and good at what you're saying. I think Newgrounds could up their, supporter status and have higher tiers for higher amounts mm. i think a lot of people would be willing to do a little more but i think if yeah. three dollars a month is all that's on the website that's what people will do i think they could get a little bit more do you th- yeah. how much do you think we could get like what what price level do you think we should set if like if you pay this you're just a moderator <laughs> you're just a mod no no <laughs> <laughs> Pay to, With all pay the to play. Of dollars that I've given to Newgrounds, I may as well be V admin. They should make me the owner of Newgrounds. You should, yeah, you should be town folk. Um, but like, no, no, like I feel that because like, I've, like I've had experience like with a theater before that they kind of like were very much. I see town folk being the same way sometimes too, which is like asking for money is really embarrassing and it kind of makes me feel like I'm devaluing my fans and the people that like the site and everything. Shoot, I hate but doing I think it as there an are artist. a lot of people that would be able to do more and would want to do more. And I think it's like, if you, like we're saying, if project, all you got to do is be able to make a little bit of a leap and ask. I think a lot of people would be willing to do a little more. And that would, if that extra money in Newgrounds' coffers would help them do a little more here and there, I think that would help. Well, to that, say, it no, just depends on the direction. A, yeah, we don't, we don't have an issue asking the community for your money. We really don't because... That means that we're we're not fucking having to bow down to ad, ad companies and censors and shit like that. So we're we're all for the community sponsoring. It. As for mm-hmm. the asking for more, you know, every now and then we do run these campaigns where we put sad Tom's profile <laughs> Tom up on the page. Right, but <laughs> none of those. You know? There's only still the three dollars. Right. Yeah. I don't. So you, is, what you're I saying mean, you is three dollars. We, we need. That. Yeah, you can get more than that. Uh, I, I think what Will is saying is rather than having maybe a sliding scale where. You like hope people slide it up, maybe have vis- visible numbers and like, hey, click this one and click this one might be more. Yeah, this, this is a very difficult thing to talk about, though, because it's like, how do you how do you offer more tiers? Because most of the money that people put towards new, new grounds, it's always in the jams. Like someone will donate two thousand fucking dollars to like an animation jam. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I mean? Like people cough up money for that all the time or like even the tablet giveaway, like tons of money goes into like the spending it on yeah. the community. That they give the time and like use this towards well, this. Well, and that, like, that's kind of the thing too. Like we have we have a set amount of money that we need to operate the site, uh, pay payroll, all that stuff. Uh, we're not quite bringing in that entire level through supporters yet, 
But if we surpass that in supporters, that's exactly where the money would go anyway. Like Tom would not yeah. keep a, a single cent in profit. That all goes back to the community contests, game jams, yeah. shit like that. Um, Newgrounds is fucking the biggest communist scheme. In- <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, for sure. Like, and let me say too, like, I never want total socialist. When I'm like saying we should be able to give more, and then there should be like. Maybe there should be a reward for doing five, a reward for doing ten, for doing twenty, etc. I would never say that we should limit the content. I know that's something well, Newgrounds yeah, is very that's, important that's the in, big is that it doesn't like, limit you... content and there's no, well, like... Well, you would know. You wouldn't you know. have tiers that, like, if you're only based here, you're limited into only doing these things. It would be like, hey, you're part of this tier. You're either, like, you get, like, this backdoor access that not many people have. Or, like, uh... Hey, we'll give you a pin or like some special flag or new ground stickers. I mean, even something silly like that. Week would probably seven, be... you get week you seven yeah, if you you're a supporter. Seven. Cam, <laughs> Cam said that because actually you can allow betas to be supporter only. Yep. So yep, like you yep. can put something out actually, early and make it supporter only. He would yeah, never that is that a thing. Though. No, no, that actually is a thing. He did. Ask it's a Tom teaser. It, it is a thing. He's going to do that. If you're a supporter, you will probably get early access to week seven. That is actually a thing. That's something interesting. So, um, so maybe we should in, advertise e- that. in every Pretend way, shape, and form, eight. every way, shape, and form, Cam has given back to Newgrounds. <laughs> it's it's fucking <laughs> wild. But we should probably move on because this is a long episode. What do we got? Bacon cheeks <laughs> ass. Bacon cheeks. Uh, how do you feel about the current state of NG? Anything you miss slash wish to see more of? So we brought up games, but. Anything that well, we miss about Newgrounds? This isn't a miss thing, but a thing that I would like to see, actually. And this is something that I was thinking about earlier when we were talking about the uh, the audio portal. I don't hate the idea of maybe even more modernization of the UI. You know what I mean? Like, I think... Same. I, I love the sort of old school feel. And I mean, Newgrounds has modernized a lot, but... I don't know. I don't hate the it idea of getting more. more modern. <laughs> it could be more modern. Tom no, has a hundred sticky thing notes there. with all these yeah, things that he wants done. No, I know. I, I get. I get what you guys are saying too, because I, I kind of know where you're coming from. Like one of the old school things that we have, because we're 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 a fucking old site with an old. It's an old site ran base. by old people. It's old people. It's an old code base, <laughs> and doing a drastic overhaul is probably beyond our engineering capacity right now it really is but like what you guys would probably love to see is if you were playing a song or something and it plays in that footer thing you could go to any page and that would keep playing that would be awesome right? yeah hell yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So the For problem sure. with that is you have to completely rebuild how okay, you do it load if i were to build new grounds from the ground up that would 100 percent be there that would 100 percent be there but yeah, we'd have to do a, another complete engineering overhaul, another massive design, and I'm not it, not it. So not what it. you're saying is not that it. Newgrounds is what, I, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I'm not gonna <laughs> just do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I, I think I, I hear that. But do you think more money in the big Newgrounds vault would pave the way for more things like that in the future? Yes. Well, that's a big thing. If we can get. Uh, bigger engineering staff, I think we could probably yeah. do a shit ton where we could probably focus on it. Because right now, we kind of juggle between, you know, band-aiding on new features to what we have, fixing yeah. features that we have, fixing fucking security problems, fixing all sorts of shit that nobody even hears about. Like, we're, we're constantly fixing to the point where we maybe get to add to the site, maybe four or five times a year. So, so, right. so what I'm hearing is that we're starting a Tom Fulp jam where everyone gets together and we have a charity <laughs> that goes back to Tom Fulp's engineering staff. So that way you can hire new people and create new new yeah. guys. Or and just outsource for like time. Or just a year. <laughs> for like a year. Just fire, fire all these old farts working there and hire some new kids. You know? <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, but, hey, but yeah. you know, that's what I'm saying, though. A little bit of more tiers that could get some more people putting in at the level they're comfortable with. You could split your engineering between maintenance and development. You said tears, and I was thinking tears, like people crying. Like, we're putting our blood, sweat, and tears into <laughs> nothing. Thanks, guys. Okay, here's the thing. If you guys are willing to pay Newgrounds 
ten thousand dollars a year, I will personally <laughs> send you a vial of my tears. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, I'll I do it for five. five. No, no, like over the counter <laughs> eye drop prescriptions, you upgrade, Josh. If you upgrade the twenty thousand, you'll get legitimate Tom Fulp tears. <laughs> That's really good. Fifty thousand. We're talking bath water. Fifty thousand. We're talking bath water. <laughs> Real, all right, real talk though. Uh, real talk though. If there was a tier system, like let's say tier tier two was like you could change the background of new grounds to any of the previous backgrounds. Like you know what I'm saying? That was like cool. five dollars a month. Like that'd that's be kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Or like even change the text colors like at, to your own will. Do we you know? know? Like, is it good to ask? Do we know what our average subscription monthly like for the person who subscribes and gives money to new grounds? <laughs> what's that average? Per month. Yeah, what's the we big numbers? Give us the secret numbers. I, I actually don't know that. Am I um, am I doing Jim, better than Jim the person next to me? What I would <laughs> what I've seen is a lot more people prefer the the what is it the twenty twenty five dollar annual supporter annual yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's probably the most common. I know we do have like a few that do monthly. We had one guy that he bought an annual one. And then, I don't know, he wasn't paying attention or something. And then he bought a monthly one right after. Yeah. So we emailed him. I was like, hey, dude, you accidentally bought two. And he goes, oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. But you know what? I fucking love the site. Just leave it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See? Yeah. See? More people are out there like that guy. Beautiful. But, like, for real, like, you can... Like, that's the thing. We have a slider, so you can support us at whatever dollar amount you feel like you want to give us. Um, but to Will's point, I think maybe that slider is so ambiguous. Like, you see the number, and you're like, I, I, okay, that's fine. But, yeah, maybe yeah. if there were tiers. Like, and that, it, it's not a Patreon. Like, if you want to go higher tiers, oh, you're totally not necessarily okay. getting more. You're not necessarily getting more. But if we had, like, physical numbers you could click on, maybe somebody would see, like, $3 tier and then a $5 tier. They're like, yeah, well, it's 2 bucks more. I'll click that. So oh, yeah, what if what if yeah. it just makes the supporter symbol next to your name a different color, like even shinier? Like that's it. Like you know what, what I mean? What if? What if? And I'm just throwing this out there on your user page. You know the circle with your icon. What if it yeah. had hats? What if it had hats? Oh man! Now we're getting to shit. Now we're getting to the profile pics. Oh boy! Oh I'm... fuck! <laughs> that is brilliant. You can't, you, you can't just that's put a hat is. on your profile pic. You gotta buy the hat, and it goes over your profile pic. That's right. Yeah, downloadable you just put a content. Hat on Photoshop or whatever. Audi- audience, what, what's 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 the value of that to you? How much would you pay for a hat on top of your profile pic? Do we know what the average age of our new ground supporter is? <laughs> yeah, young enough they don't have credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, I mean, how are they supporters? Thank we you, everyone, for totally. showing up totally. today. Totally. This, this is a shout out to podcast. all the new ground supporters. Thank you guys for giving us your valued money. Where's our to Patreon give back to list? You. Talking about money. Where's our Patreon Actually, on list? The, on the I'll Dogecoin note, I'm curious, Josh. I don't know if you know anything about this. I'm inclined to say you probably won't. Uh, but I know <laughs> that Newgrounds is, and I know this not only because Tom said so, but also because I use the Brave browser. So I build up bat over time naturally and i have it set up to distribute that bat exclusively to new grounds do you know how much bat new grounds pulls in or no i haven't been updated on that in a while but it was like last time i heard it was maybe like five bucks a month okay that's <laughs> nice. that's what i would have guessed right. yeah nicely done this was fun okay i want to quickly say about ninja muffin and then we'll close us out he wasn't able to come on because he was out. We thought he'd be in, but he was out and not able to come to the mic. This was not an April Fool's thing. I do actually feel bad because like we did this bit and now it's happening for real. And Screenshot now to, like, the message. Screenshot the message. Here's, 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 here's what he says. Yeah. This is Ninja Muffin 99 at 3.26 p.m. 9 p.m. tonight. Will says, yep. And Ninja Muffin says, yee. I can Classic crew me. up. <laughs> Fuckers. Screenshot yeah. it. <laughs> screenshot it. But like just, what? I just wanted to put that out there because you know we we did do that, but this isn't that, and we do really want to have people on, and we're not going to do that if it's not April first. So so there's that. But d- despite anything, and we're not going to like try to advertise it and be fake about it in the ads for this episode either. It's not going to be like it's him. We promise. Who's that Pokemon? Fuck. Uh, but you know. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? So, yeah. But that said, like uh, this has been a really fun episode. I think. I hope you guys think too. And yeah, I was serious about the, the, the. I had a bad time. I wish I wasn't Damn. here. Frank's a nature five. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> There's not enough voice acting going on. Yeah. 
Just but do uh, it! We were Just serious do a, it! about the. Uh, if wait, you like spades Will, or anything, Will, you can wait. Eat. Hold on, Will. Will, I have right, a real one. Wrap up? Frank's Adventure 5. Let's wrap up. Our All right. Are Thank great. you, everyone. This has been the Newgrounds Podcast. We're only can, halfway here. Now we can we play the some party. outro music, please? <laughs> can, I get, can I get the tambourines? Can I, I want to thank our amazing patrons at $3. Outro. We have Daniel Sun. Oh, wait. <laughs> hey. I'm going to stay the patrons anyway. Fluff my Charissa Boozle, Zachary Jones, Bacon, Gardley Guard, Great Team Vids, 14 Kids, <laughs> K1D, Commander Ken, Sexyori, Big Time, Spectre Lee, and Tom Fault. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, <laughs> Gabberfly. Goodbye. Please send your checks to P.O. Box. <laughs> we did it. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds Podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye.